hi guys so my fabric dimensions are 26 inches by 30 inches for the sleeve and so you can see that I measured 2 inches for my grid that's to mark my box I'm measuring 2 inches horizontally from top down that's 2 inches also on the vertical level from side to side mark two inches also to get your box you can see that two inches for each box it's a square two inches for each box that's what i have there both on the horizontal line and on the vertical line top down and right to left mark two inches on all your fabric remember my measurement fabric for fabric is 26 inches by 30 inches so now after drawing your lines you then come to the box each box i left the first row on the edge of the fabric and then i came to the second row and then i drew a diagonal line in the box you skip the next box and then you come to the next one again you draw another diagonal line you skip the next one and then you draw another diagonal line into the next box so that's how you go all the way down and so the next row you leave it empty I didn't put any mark on this row so the next row after it I picked I left the row before the edge of my fabric and then the next box I put the diagonal line I left this place blank and then I put another diagonal line and then left this place blank so that's how you go you work on <clears throat> two diagonal two boxes sorry you put your diagonal line on one skip the next one put on another one and then for the next row you leave it empty and then you move to the following row again and then you do all that till the end of your fabric and so after that i come to the box that has the first diagonal line and then I thread my needle. This is your needle. Use a matching thread with the fabric. And th mind you, this is the wrong side of the fabric. The wrong side. So now you pick the tip of the diagonal. The first tip. And then you pick the second one also. Like this. And so you pull the two together. And you secure the knot make sure your thread is thick so that it doesn't cut so that your so that you can secure it properly so once you're done with that you cut the thread so i'm done with that and then you see the empty box after it i'm not doing anything there I come to the next box that has the diagonal line and I repeat the same process of picking with the needle and then you hold together and you secure the knot. You cut it off and then you tie your thread again. And then you see the empty box again beside it. You don't do anything there. You come to the one that has the diagonal line again. And then you move. So that's how you're going to repeat the process for all the boxes that have the diagonal lines inside. Hmm, look at how beautiful it looks already. I've been able to do, you know, quite a number. And this is the wrong side of the fabric. This is how it looks. And so this is the right side. Ta-da! See the right side. See the Canadian smoking. And this is going to be used for my sleeves. Oh, this is beautiful. 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 So, so you just do this for the remaining part of So this is my sleeve this is the canadian smoking that i've done for the sleeve so because this is the top of 
the it's a long sleeve this is half of the sleeve all i'll do is to just fold it this way i'll fold my sleeve this way so you can see that this place is already giving me the arm all slope i'm going to pleat this side into my arm all slope because i want it really full and then i'll go to pleat this side into the remaining the base of the remaining sleeve so i'm show you now can you see what i'm seeing so this is the attached part of the sleeve and that is my ruffles so i'm going to just get my sleeve circumference on the elbow point and my sleeve circumference on the the wrist and then I'm going to just pleat this part into the armhole. Here is my finished sleeve looking so beautiful. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. And please leave your comments in the comment section. So that if you want me to do any tutorial for you, I will be there to see it. Thanks a lot guys. See you in my next video. Bye.